Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. Uh, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. This is an oil painting channel, and generally just an art channel where I make all kinds of paintings and tutorials and anything art related. So if that sounds like something you might like, definitely subscribe or maybe like check out my other stuff just to be sure you want to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking around through my crazy dry spells where I upload a lot and then I don't upload at all and then the cycle repeats and now we're back to me uploading. So, hi. I'll be showing you the process of this oil painting portrait uh, study, I guess. I actually started it just over two months ago, but kind of stopped and went on and off with it and now I'm finally done. I also have a little notebook with notes here of everything I want to say because I have the memory and attention span of a carrot and I will forget. I need lists to survive. The portrait I'm painting is of a character from a new show I recently watched called Spinning Out. It just came out on January 1st of this year. I'm not sponsored by the way, I wish that would be cool, but I'm not. I just watched it and I really liked the show and wanted to make this painting. The holidays were a bit overwhelming this year. I mean, they always are for me, to be honest, but this year I had some major post-holiday burnout, and I admit that I binged on this show, melted into the couch on January 1st and 2nd. I finished it in two days, and I may have also rewatched it, so... Self-care, am I right? <laughs> the show is centered around figure skating and the character I'm painting is Katerina Baker, or Kat as everyone calls her in the show. She is portrayed by the actress Kaya Scaldelario, who I'm painting here. Um, she did an amazing job in this role and I've always appreciated her as an actress. I think this portrait is definitely a bit more expressive compared to the paintings I normally create where the women I paint are a lot more relaxed and serene and her expression here is more surprised. And I took the reference directly from the actual show. And first of all, the figure skating in this show was so beautifully done. There was this one particular scene and I'm not gonna spoil the story here if you wanna watch, but in the first episode, she was at the rink very early morning before it opens, just kind of letting loose on the ice and having a blast in the early morning sunshine just skating around and then she was startled by the lights coming on and I wanted to paint that exact moment. I really wanted to paint the lighting here. She's sort of backlit by the sunshine behind her that was shining through the rink doors, which I love because the rink I skate in doesn't have any natural light at all. There are no windows and I love skating in sunshine, but I just love painting that warm backlit glow, sort of highlighting the edges of the subject and the little hair wisps. I find it so much fun to paint and I've painted portraits like that before. It was really fun, so I knew this would be a great moment to paint. If you're interested in a real-time, slower version of this video where I explain every step of the way, like which colors I used for the skin tones, that's available on my Patreon. It's a multi-part video series, and I'm gonna be releasing the final layer and finishing touches this month. It's only the price of a Starbucks latte, and you get instant access to about 50 hours of detailed painting demonstrations I've created throughout the years. Landscapes, water, portraits, all kinds of things that I love to paint, and I really hope you find them helpful.
portrait, I didn't want to spend as much time as I normally would. I kind of wanted it to have more of a rougher, painty look, even though I felt myself wanting to meticulously detail everything. I did leave certain aspects of it to look a little more painty, like I didn't put too much emphasis into the background. I made that a little bit more impressionistic and just kind of like an impression of what I was seeing in the reference. Um, and same for the face. I did stop myself. I wanted to push further, but I'm like, no, you won't. Just, just walk away. <laughs> I, it's typically really hard for me to do that, but I did. I stopped myself and I'm like, this is done. I'm just gonna call it done and I'm gonna move on with my life. I will admit that part of the reason I stopped painting this and kind of got a little disenchanted is because halfway through this portrait, I found out the show got canceled, which sucked. I'm a huge figure skating fan and I skate myself and we don't really get a lot of figure skating content. It's usually really gimmicky or silly or like old as heck, you know, there's really not a lot based on figure skating. And so to finally see that this show about figure skating was coming out and it's set in these beautiful snowy mountains was just the best New Year's gift for me and I binged on it. But unfortunately, I guess it's more of a niche type of sport and a niche category. Um, Jonathan Van Ness was in it and I adore him. He is a ray of sunshine in this world. I need to paint him at some point. It's really a shame that the show was canceled because it covers so many important issues like mental health, uh, the main character struggles with bipolar disorder, she has PTSD, it goes into single parent households, racism, LGBT, uh, athletic longevity, and just all the stress that comes with being a high performing athlete, all kinds of family issues. There's, there's something that I think everybody can take something with them or relate to, and I thought that was really great that they made an effort to go into so many different things. But I guess it wasn't getting enough traction, and that's all it is these days, it's a numbers game. For me personally, I was drawn to it because I just love skating, and I'm an adult skater, which means that I started figure skating as an adult. I did skate briefly when I was a kid, but it was you know, I took some beginner's classes. I wasn't like a really high level skater or anything. I just skated recreationally at the rink sometimes and I rollerbladed all the time. Like every day I just loved skating and I always wanted to figure skate, but we couldn't afford it. And my mom had me in dance school, which I still loved, but I really wanted to skate. I just do this for fun. I'm never gonna go to the Olympics. I don't think I wanna compete, but I don't know. Like maybe I'll try it out someday, but I'm not at the level where I think I can do that yet. I just do it for fun because I need something active because painting is such a sedentary activity um, So I've been skating for just over a year now. Uh, I did have a couple months off because like wedding stuff and business stuff and just Things get in the way, but I stuck to it and it did teach me the importance of always getting up after you fall because you always fall in the sport I have fallen so much um, very graceful. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to go and try to finish the other paintings I have abandoned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed and thank you to my long-term subscribers for always being so patient with me. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me on my Patreon page and making it possible for me to continue making art videos for you. I'm going to try to not disappear because I don't like doing that. I miss you guys all the time. Every time I'm gone, I'm like, why? I need to upload, but I'm so stressed. I have so much to do. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video, and I'm wishing you a beautiful and inspiring day. Bye, guys.